In the marine industry, ballast pump systems are used to pump water in and out of ballast tanks when the ships load or unload. This process of taking the seawater in and out is called ballasting and deballasting. These pumps offer balance and stability to the ship, especially in extreme weather conditions such as storms and cyclones. Therefore, these pumps are crucial components of the ship. Quite logically, when a ship enters shallow waters, the huge amounts of seawater stored in ship's ballast tank is pumped out. Water is pumped in when ships unload so that it adds weight and balance to the ship. Ballast pump has a very important part in ship's operations, especially during loading operations of the cargo. Ballast water must be totally pumped out in ballast tanks so that the vessel can load the whole chartered cargo. Failure to pump out the ballast water may lead to vessel overdraft, delayed, and losses to owner's profit. Marine engineers on board carried out their routine maintenance to make sure that these machineries are well maintained and working in 100% capacity. This is our ballast pump on board, model MA150-315, and the maker is Alweiler, a German company which produces pumps since 1960. The capacity of this pump is 500 cubic meter per hour. We will overhaul this pump due to low output performance during the ballasting. First, we have to shut off the power of the motor and put isolation tags. Then, disconnect the electrical wirings from the motor and close all ballast valves involved including overboard valves. Start to take out motor holding bolts. Put the chain block ready for lifting. Take out the motor coupling bolts and the rubber spacer. Start to lift the motor. Use two sheets of chain block and secure the motor at the side. One chance has to help me achieve one dream. Take out pump M10 hexagon bolts. Make sure that the valves are totally closed and no leakages before you take out all the bolts. Tighten the two stud bolts on both sides to lift the pump housing cover. Lift the pump using chain locks. You got success, crazy. We could take a trip to Puerto Rico, sipping on coquito while we slap away. Take out hexagon bolts of coupling piece pipe. Coquitos and I prefer no liquor, but you could give me a poquito. One thing, one. Loosen the impeller nut. One day, I might even make you proud. That day's now, but I've won. Who's next? No one. Look what I've done. I got it all, and all it took was just one. Hold out the impeller. Now you have the axis of mechanical seal. The no extra bag is on my back. Our Wheeler centrifugal pump design of casing ring is built up at pump housing, unlike with Japanese pumps that you can replace it separately. Take out M8 hexagon bolts of bearing cover. Put the impeller nut to avoid damages on shaft threads. Lift the pump and stamp it on the wood to separate the housing from bearing. Yeah, it's as real as love gets We can walk into the sunset Under the stars Bust a cigar and fly up into Mars One thing's for sure Their love isn't ours Take out the old mechanical seals And seal rubber rings Take out the inner bearing cover So close, why stop now? I can roll right up, ro roll right up We can both lie up with the top down yeah. Take out bearing circuit Take out bearing by using m bolts Pushing the outer bearing cover This is rubber velo type of mechanical seal. The reason of low output performance of these pumps is due to this burned and cracked carbon part of mechanical seal. Clean the spare parts properly and start to assemble. Put the outer bearing rubber seal, then outer bearing cover. Heat up the bearing so that we can install it smoothly. Me achieve one dream, one life, you and me, one love. I won't leave though. You get the best of me sometimes, like my ears. Yes. Install the circuit. Put the inner bearing cover in gasket. That's crazy. We could take a trip to Puerto Rico, sipping on coquito while we slap away mosquitoes. <laughs> Matter of fact, you prefer mojitos and I prefer no liquor, but you could give me a poquito. One thing, one sign could change two lives. I told you one day I might even make you proud. Take out the old stationary ring of mechanical seal on the housing. Clean the settings properly. 
install the new stationary ring seat of mechanical seal. Assemble the shaft with bearing on the housing. Be careful not to damage the stationary ring carbon. Put the M8 hexagon bolts of outer bearing cover and tighten. You can trust this. Yeah, it's as real as love gets. We can walk into the sunset under the stars. Bust a cigar and fly up into Mars. One thing's for sure, their love isn't ours. Setting off sirens and fire alarms. Temperatures rising, getting hot. Now install the rotating parts of mechanical seal on the shaft. Roll right up, roll, roll right up. We can both lie up with the top down. Put the impeller cave. Then mechanical cell spring. Put the housing o-rings. Assemble the impeller to the housing and tighten the impeller nut properly. Now we already assembled the pump with new mechanical seal. We can now install it on the pump casing. Tighten the casing bolts evenly side by side to avoid the misalignment. Install the motor. Try to rotate the pump if it is free will before we proceed for service. That's all Kabaro. I hope that you learned something on this video. Please subscribe on my Facebook and YouTube channel. Keep safe and God bless. That's just why I do nice stuff and our future I trust. Ironic that old me thinks this new guy sucks. That's crazy. We could take a trip to Puerto Rico. Sipping on coquito while we slap away mosquitos. <laughs> Matter of fact, you prefer mojitos and I prefer no liquor. But you could give me un poquito. One thing, one sign could change two lives. I told you one day I might even make you proud. That day's now and I've won.